Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to play more of uh, the more of Hearts of Iron. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start making videos once again. Uh, now I don't have any school to do for a week. Uh, so yeah, we can just s all around play some Hearts of Iron <laughs> uh, until school's back on and uh, yeah, and I'll <laughs> start doing that again. So uh, probably go for this guy. He seems the best. Also, here we want to start up with doing the infrastructure. This will be even better when the update drops, but for now, it's it's just all around still uh, best choice. As India, you have a couple of good factors for yourself. You have loads of manpower, uh, even though we're going to go through everything in time. I usually delete that one, don't like tanks for them. But yeah, we have loads of land, we have loads of factories, so just start up building some civilians up here in the north. Uh, not those that five stack that's too much, but here you can see uh, around this many I would say is fine uh, First priority of the day is going to be rushing down picking up this um, Resource slot after that you're going to choose if you want to go the right side here or the left side I'm going to go the left side uh, though. I think the right side is a lot stronger It's just uh, Yeah, I just feel like doing that. I yesterday I tried recording this video and I failed. I failed because my microphone well, microphone wasn't on for 40 minutes. So I was like, yeah, let's redo it tomorrow. And now I'm back, and I won't do as many mistakes. So let's go through what's special with India. Well, first off, I'm going to say that I really dislike the changes they've done to India, giving them this tree. The tree is huge, and it's quite good. The thing is, the good stuff is so spread out, and the tree is just full of fillers. That sucks. So there's some negative to a tree. But uh, the thing that makes India from one of the favorite countries I had to play to one of the worst I really dislike playing India is this bonus and uh, this bonus I like But if they just r like removed this bonus and made this bonus even negative stuff even worse or stuff like that then I would much rather like you being, 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 being events and more options to fight and uh, like do stuff with this uh, marginal marginalized Muslim community instead of just having this minus 69 percent where you that you can never get rid of there's no way to get rid of this also risk of farming is very unclear and we should uh, um, make it more tell you better what it's about I have never seen it happen because I always get rid of it if any of you guys just tell me in the comments what it does if it happens but I think it's bad if I would guess it is that it just makes this penalty even worse that's my suspicion, though I don't actually know. So let's pick up that industry. Also, this is the thing where you get rid of the corruption. So later in the game, when we become a dominion, we're going to pick this, this, and this up. But uh, until then, we can't, because you need to be a dominion to do it. So we're going to go pick this up. After that, we'll see if world tension is over 10. Then we'll rush down, picking up the all forward, all India forward block. And if you rather want to stay democratic, which is the best option, but it's not as fun in single player. In multiplayer, it's much better in every single way. And in that case, you should only go up to the mini. You don't actually want to become free because there's no reason for it. So now that war started, we want to do finish as soon as possible so world tension rises. And uh, so yeah, so if you want to go democratic, stuff to look out for is these two. They're really good. The quit India movement is always nice. Uh, also, this jungle training uh, can be real helpful. It depends, though, because what it does, it it's, it does it helps with jungle training. Though there isn't any jungle in India, which is weird, because I thought there was jungle in India, but I have looked around and I can't seem to find any. So maybe it's just me that's dumb, but I just can't seem to find any. At least states, maybe some provinces are. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so that's too bad. But still, it's a nice bonus for your divisions. Uh, like only marines, mountaineers and paratroopers, but still they should probably buff that for infantry. Other stuff that's nice is this lion, guys, quite good. It's not that good, because the division you get sucks. <laughs> also this, these two are overrated, a hell of a load overrated. Their generals are nice, but they're not necessary. Uh, they're mostly okay if you want to promote them to uh, thingies, uh, what are they called? Field marshals. And yeah, let's pick, you should do the steel first and then the oil. The reason is, you have enough of both of them, so you can ex- and But uh, if you get more steel, you can export it, and then you can get more civilians. So that's technically better, I would say. For now, pick uh, concentrated industry. 
if update has dropped, if it says in the game that you're on version, version 1.3.3, you should go dispersed here, because then constant they are nerfing uh, the concentrated industry so much that there is never, never a reason to ever pick it again. And that's sad. That's really sad because now, as uh, Soviet, it's bad. As China's, e in before it was like this. Nations in Europe wanted dispersed, and everywhere else you wanted concentrated. Now they've done so. Every single nation in the world are going dispersed, and that's nerfing nations that are focusing on airplanes like UK, uh, uh, UK, US maybe. So we're nerf for, so they are nerfing the US and UK. We are buffing these nations here because Germany always done that and no not always in 1.0 they always went concentrated then everyone every single nation in the game went concentrated because it was OP so they're nerfing it to the ground and I I like it I like that they've changed it but they should not like everyone should not just go down the spurs because that's just uh, super because they have buffed uh, overall the allies because of uh, giving focuses to these guys uh, and that in its turn nerfs is Germany and Soviet. But what they've done with this change is they, they, uh, and that's fine that they do it. At that they now they buff these nations, uh, not Soviet. They buff Germany and Italy, and nerfs uh, UK and US. And that's good. I like that. Though it just makes it so. Uh, it's hard to say. But I would say, like, uh, in single-player games, when you like to play a little nation somewhere in a random place, you are forced to go disperse, and you don't really have a choice. In multiplayer games, uh, and in multiplayer games, it's just, uh, it just, <laughs> everyone, before everyone went disperse, and now still everyone will go disperse, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. I just, I don't know where to come to this, I talked about this in a yesterday's video, but still, I just want to mention it, because I think it's a big deal that we... And I like it that they do changes to the game, but uh, I really think there are a lot bigger problems with the game and uh, not stuff like that. Uh, though I really enjoy, I like the change, so I won't say that. But I mean, there are bigger problems. Uh, but I don't mind the change. Uh, I like it, actually. <laughs> what thing they should do though is while we talk about India, they should really, uh, yeah, I talked. Oh shit, I talked about that. Redoing this part. <laughs> shit. But yeah, it's the nation is quite fine. It's just that you look at it. It's you should have f uh, you only have 10%. So if you take the 332k times 10, that's 3.3 million. So I only get three two. I only get 300,000 when I should have 3 million, and that makes no sense. Because India was so so fun to play, and what made India so great for the UK was that. British Ross could just gift all his expedition reports to UK. UK has tons of equipment and stuff, and British Ross has tons of manpower. And that was that went even better when they made it so UK can train divisions like for British Ross and stuff. And I loved it. And then I realized that British Ross doesn't have a manpower anymore, so that strategy doesn't work. And uh, they like I really think I dislike it quite a bit. Um, I'm actually going to go communist when I go down here. Because the communist side is better, <laughs> and they have uh, made it dumb. Because if you look at it here, you join the research pact. This one is worse than the German research pact, uh, so that's not good. But here you get free, free good, uh, and important uh, 50 percenters, and here you get one that's okay and one that sucks, <laughs> and some air experience. <laughs> I mean, this 75% is worse than the 50 for land doctrine just because it takes so much longer to make a land doctrine. So, I mean, they've really, really misunderstood. But, yeah, I mean, they are trying to buff Soviet, so I, I like that. But if, like, because uh, in, like, every single nation, everyone goes fascist because that's better. And I actually like them buffing. This is an indirect buff for Soviet and the commun communism. Because if, if uh, we say in a multiplayer game, you have Soviet, you have an India and China and this kind of stuff. Making this guy uh, a part of the Soviet will really, really buff them uh, and giving them instead of just one, because the Soviet uh, commentary is always just considered consistent of one nation. Now it will consist of two. That's good. I like it. Though it's uh, sad for Germany that doesn't get an ally in that region, they would enjoy it. 
because if you think about it, Ch Japan in the Axis, they're going to war with China. If India is in fascist, they can help from this side and hack into China. And the only thing we need to capture is this city and then we surrender. So these two cities here needs to fall into Japan's uh, Japanese enemy <laughs> enemy hands and then we surrender. It's actually not that easy. Some other cities need to fall. But basically, first objective here, second objective is here. I've gone through that earlier, but just like to remind people. And also the bot really really sucks at invading, <laughs> if you hope it's so funny. Like I mean the Spanish Civil War goes faster. And when the Spanish Civil War ends, that will be great, because then I can rush down and get the spry, which gives uh, nothing, I mean this one. Uh, yeah, political power. Uh, that's one, that's good, I meant. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Keep doing this industry part. It's just mostly for... I mean, I really dislike that every single opener is always industry, and there is no other opener than just rushing industry. And uh, because if you think about it, these four are worthless until war break out. Uh, we, this one is o also worthless until war break out. Actually, okay, not actually. These guys you want, <laughs> but I mean by that time war will have broken out. So I guess yeah, these are worthless until war breaks out. These are. This one is worthless, this one is not worthless, it's almost, no, 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 it's far from, because you need to start building boats, but, this one is worthless, these two are almost worthless, this one is, makes kinda sense, going, opening with this one, though it's, um, especially as an ally nation, you want to get that bonuses, uh, 25 is max, uh, because of limited amount of nations, or oh, I think 25 is max, and that only leaves this page, <laughs> Because this is the only page in the whole, if you think about it, of all of these, this one is the only one that does anything. And that is so sad, <laughs> that the game is balanced in a way, where the only, of all of these trees, the only one that's good in the early game is the industry one. The other ones are, doesn't do you anything. And I think that's kind of interesting, that it's designed that way. I don't know how we, how we would do it otherwise, but still, I think it's inter interesting to think about that kind of stuff. Uh, because in all my videos you always see me rush down industry in the early game, picking up these before they even, uh, before it's even 1937. That I've always done it since the game came out, so it's a reflex for me and it makes sense, but some people maybe, f uh, maybe find it strange that I don't like open here or with getting good planes and stuff like this, but it just, it takes so much time. Uh, and I... Yeah. <laughs> I just, I love this game so much. It's the best game on the planet, probably. And also, I... Officially, I should probably not tell you that I have another favorite game than this one, because, uh, <laughs> let's face it, I mean, I... I don't make my living, or not even close, it's on this game, but I mean... I have loads of fun making videos at least, and I get some money for it, so I mean, <laughs> I should probably just stick with it as long as people watch it and still, because I mean, I cannot, I can stick, I can make videos, but if no one watches them, I should probably, and this game dies, I should probably <laughs> do something else, and that's sad, and I thought of it, but I don't think this game will ever die, actually, I think it's too good, because I mean, this, and I mean, Oh god, I'm I'm kind of new to Paradox. I've only played CK2, EU4, and Hearts of Iron 4. That that are Paradox games, and I'm actually not that good at anyone, any of them except Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, I would call myself a l far above average on this game. I would, but I'm not the best. I'm probably not the best. I think, though I'm not sure. I've never done, I don't think, know if there are any statistics on who is the best, if there are, and there are like, it's like a tournament for who's the best I would like to participate and actually see how, how I fare, but yeah, I uh, don't use an exploit in any of my videos, and that's maybe one of the reasons that I don't go for that many word conquests, is that I, I don't like, find exploits funny, like, because I mean, I taught you one of these exploits, like, uh, when the game came out, I, I invented, I think I invented it. The tactic where you use paratroopers to drop behind on... You drop on this tile here, uh, and on this tile here, and on this tile here. And then you take all of these behind here, so these guys lose... Uh, on, on In this state, loses all of its uh, thingies. And uh, 
equipment, I know what's called. Fuck, I, I forgot. Like, yeah, you know. So, equipment, yeah, we lose it, they don't. <laughs> what's it called, this one? Supply areas. We use for supply. Oh. Never mind. Well, we just lose it. <laughs> what's that now called? Uh, <laughs> I forgot. And uh, then. Uh, and then you can just invade them through with level 10 force and they will die either way. They've kind of fixed that, but not really, you can still do it, it's just harder. We'll also start going down here, mass assault. Let's start building these bad boys. Okay. Oh, excuse me. And, uh. Oh. After I. I've used that a lot in multiplayer, and it works fine. And after that, I actually saw a YouTuber made a video making a video about it and I was like yeah super happy I'm not sure if he took it from me or if it has gone in uh, multiple steps until reaching him doesn't really matter for me but just I just find it interesting that I hope if it's true I mean I, I hope my stuff is spreading <laughs> I want uh, everyone that's playing this game to be the aspect oh oh la la is it oh democratic Ooh. Interesting. Well, I just want everyone in the game to be at their best, and I just like people being good <laughs> all around, if that makes sense. Puerto Rico. I think this uh, still belongs to the US. Not sure. Yeah, let's go to this, mm, this thing, this political power. <laughs> Hindenburg disaster. I'm not sure actually if Hindenburg disaster, Hindenburg incident is what happened in real life. Because you don't learn that stuff in school, and that's super weird. In my school, you didn't even learn. You don't actually learn anything <laughs> about almost uh, about the war, Second World War. It's super sad. So, like, I had to learn my teacher stuff so he could learn the class. Just because I played this game. So I was like, yeah, uh, about... Oh, yeah, partial. That's super good. Uh... I don't really have an example, but it was the same for the First World War as well. People, the teachers really suck at that kind of stuff, I feel like. Yeah, let's get to this. Makes sense. <laughs> let's see how long it's gone. I mean, one of my monitors doesn't work. Uh, so, I'm going to fix it today. So, I'm going to get a cable. Because, I mean, I always had a right monitor over here on this side. But, it stopped working, so I'll just get a new cable. And, uh, it should work. I just called the guys that work for him, they said, yeah, just get a cable at our place or some somewhere else, and yeah, I was like, nice, nice, thanks, man, also, we'll probably be doing this soon, I just really want this to be 10 or 15, because, I mean, if you think about it, it's so long for me, and I'd much rather get up excavation, which I'm doing right now, because excavation is really cheap, and if, and if you check here, we have loads of resources, and just buffing this up, uh, in time it will be at maximum like down here and then it will be you have you will and if you also expand into nations on your sides you'll be having so many resources so it's really going to be able to export them and also if you want just close your economy and just fight any nation you will have hopefully enough uh, to produce at full speed full strength either way it's just quite nice. I just feel like excavation is quite a nice bonus. Because it's like, excavation is really good balance. Because it works in two ways. It get, Either it gets you more resources, or it gets you more civilian factories. In a sense, you're researching <laughs> civilian factories. More of them, at least. So, I'm not sure if, that's, if you can say it in that way. But I've thought of it in that way, at least for a bit. Okay, let's see. I will want to raise it, but I can't because I am a puppet. We want to pick up these soon. Not now. Oh, we don't have a chill pick up quick until we finish. Let's get this swar right. Because we will want to pick up this communist supporter. All India forward block you need. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure if you needed to go either. Uh, like, all the way down to help seek help. But no, it's forward block. So yeah, the forward block is really good. It's one of the better tech symmetry just because it gives you 120 in quite a good situation because if you think about it it's like 
what it does and it's so good at design but I really really love the design of it it gives you 120 political power which makes it so you can pick the either the communist or a fascist so it's like immediately when you do this one you can start getting fascist or communist support whatever you want and after that we're going to go here and get even more communist support and uh, stuff like that and get this one yeah we won't be doing this immediately though know? and this is why I dislike uh, the Soviet part because it's much better going down Soviet and getting this stuff but you need to start a civil war here you probably will start a civil war but still you I think you have a chance of not doing it at least well not 100 percent so let's uh, let's hold on oh hmm. 15 here yeah let's get that then just so it's done yeah, I really wanted to be done for a war and as soon as possible really because just radio it's really strong 5% re reinforcement rate is really nice on every on all, if you get that on all your divisions which you are do getting so 30 plus every day now we're getting less because we're training but that's fine I just want them to be at least on training I just overall dislike them being not there on that level I don't I really dislike the negative bonus so but it's you should probably avoid it at any cost getting the, the, the being in green and fighting because the 25% really uh, does a lot to your capability of pushing not as much garrisoning and defending but pushing the enemy back because defending you can always just entrench and get bonuses so uh, Swarai Swarai doesn't really do anything though you should okay Price, the only thing that it does is just add some points here which is nice also war here is broken out so we'll just be watching it I would say and uh, let's actually get some art going it's quite good quite good uh, weird we haven't declared war on Changsi doesn't make sense hmm, the Japanese are already winning by 100% that's funny because that's I really dislike how this one is counting it's it what it's counting is the pop military strength of both nations and then calculate who's going to win almost I would I think that's it uh, and it's really weird I dislike it just because I mean it's uh, it's quite inaccurate most of the time well it's actually not inaccurate because Japan always wins and so it's 100% <laughs> but still Come on, get this done. I just, I, I really want to get it done. If I don't get it in, uh, my bad, <laughs> in 20 days, fuck, I will get it in more than 20 days. So I will actually be losing time. If you can say that, if you, you should probably understand if you're watching this guide, what I mean by, I'm not 100% efficient because this will be at like 155 or something, and then I will spend it, and that's not 100% efficiency that's like a bit less because <laughs> I can't instantly pick this guy this one has to finish first no actually it will is this one hundred percent it's is it 100 percent perfect no it's I'm just missing one day okay it's okay it's basically 100 percent efficient communism pick the right yeah seek help I will get the help you want to get the help you will also want to get these two, so now we're going to pick up these, and then we'll just be letting that set up and do other stuff here later. So let's let's start by getting the communist support. We want to get as much as possible. These these puppet points, I call them. I'm not sure what they are called. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. It's just uh, we can wait a bit. We we're not in a hurry. We have about one and a half years, I would say, of peace. Maybe a bit more, but like around that at least. Oh, you can actually... Libya. You can actually... Release them. That's funny. I haven't really checked on nations you can and cannot release. Because I don't do it, that stuff. I really don't ever bother. <laughs> release stuff. Yeah, the bots are really dumb researching. Not this one. This makes sense for a bot research going up to this one. But One thing I don't realize is why UK 
in real life, why don't we just give blueprints to like this, what they have in? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. I mean, <laughs> though I am not UK, and maybe they didn't because they had a reason. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's funny how People's Republic has claim on everything. It's weird and. Yeah, they have claims on this, I f just thought of it, that, what if they don't have claims here, yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Ah, nice. <laughs> let's get the fascist as well. No, let's... Go down to limited, no, I want to go up to free, maybe. But I am s I don't want... Yeah, let's get free trade. Free trade is actually quite good. Because free trade and a closed economy, of closed economy, are the best. I would say it just seemed to me the best because either you get loads of bonuses or you don't uh, lose any uh, of these. Oh shit! I'm exporting so much. 78. God, I should get <coughs> so many factories. Ah shit! I'm not using them. Uh, Start building them around this area, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure why I just picked something. You need wherever you feel like. Construction speed. And efficiency. This. <laughs> okay, what do I want to add now? I'm not I'm thinking. Oh, we have so much of that. Yeah, let's add these. Go up here. Also, we're going to. Ooh. What? No, my God! <laughs> Ten minutes. What? No, fuck you! I. I want to become communist. No, that's really sad. Come on. Okay, let's ask the Germans then, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm okay. I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting. Oh no, 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 shit. Fuck. This is the forward block. Communist support. Does this give it? Oh god, I can't read them. I'm. That's so dumb. <laughs> This looks like this should not be named all in your four block and should be named help from Soviet or something. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, I guess. Let's deploy these and and uh, now it's time. Yeah, it's time to mass produce soldiers like real Indians. <laughs> yeah shit costs so much equipment. Yeah, I, we'll see. Yeah, we we should probably end the video soon. So I'll just uh, tell you basically how to go through this, the remaining part. It's basically stuff to pick up. Is uh, you want the modernizing army? Well, you don't really want this, but you will need it. Can't just because you you want this uh, later. So somewhere in time you want to pick up this stuff and use the bonuses efficiently. This one is really good. So pick that as soon as possible. That's probably what I'm going to do after this one, is get Lions of Great War. Uh, after that, should probably go down and pick up Corruption, because by that point, I should... No, shit, I'm further back than I thought I would be. I thought I would be here somewhere. Shit. Okay, then maybe we'll consider something else. Yeah, let's... Oh god, Art, I don't want to go Arty route now. Shit. I don't have anything else to do. It's the service. This takes less time. Okay, so let's get for the lion. Also, you want to pick up uh, this sometimes. You you will need to go down the Royal Air Force thing. Though, we do that as late as possible because we suck. We really suck. <laughs> also, just stay away from this part. You will not focus on the Navy. And if you are, good for you. But I mean, it's like it doesn't really help you. Or oh, quit in your movement. Okay, in Turkey, makes sense. 
Okay, let's see. I was going 9 to 4, 4, 4 3, 9. Oh, 4, 4. We're getting a lot of support. It's going really fast, actually. Well, not really fast, like, uh, but it's kind of fast. So, I mean, these are fine. So, you will be, we'll be picking up this sometime. Just, uh, why can't I do this mountain? In it has technology mount. Oh, sabotage. Oh, yeah, this is the quit in the moment thing. I like this, actually. That it, it works like this. It, I think it's funny. <sighs> now we'll be picking up... Uh, you want to get this one up. And uh, this attack one. Here you want the... Whatever you feel like. Here, whatever you feel like. I would recommend that attic flick. I just feel like that one. Well, that one's the best. Maybe something else though. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is so dumb that... This is even a thing, because this one is just better in every single way than this one, <laughs> isn't it? I think it is. Come on, please. Don't fuck up my factories. Anything else. Uh, shit. Let's think. Maybe Silent Workhorse? Yeah, let's get Silent Workhorse, actually. Because I don't need anything else, and then uh, I will speed up rate I can get these on the bottom but yeah I'll end the video here so you should probably be able to figure the rest out but this opener is basically the important part getting the all four block the this industry one and this lion this the, these two are really good uh, in the later game you want this mining Buddha and uh, this one for nuclear technology actually batting more here I would say that's the best and also prioritize for just repairing these because that takes no time at all but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye